Hello everybody. A subscriber has asked me if I can demonstrate how to make a pair of spectacle frames that are exactly symmetrical about the bridge. The bad news is that Design Spark Mechanical does not possess a 3D mirror tool. But the good news is that it does possess a 2D mirror tool. However, the bad news is that the use of this mirror tool can lead to some very puzzling issues in Design Spark Mechanical. Ah, but the good news is that I've figured out how to get round them. And I'm going to show you, good people, how to do this. So let's get started. There are no doubt an infinity of spectacle styles. Just think what Elton John used to be wearing. So, of necessity, I'm just going to show you the basic design of a spectacle, pair of spectacles from which you should be able to develop your own special styles. So I'll demonstrate a few techniques in Design Spark Mechanical. So we're going to start off with a, a few centre lines. We've got the snap here set. So we're going to put a centre line down here and we'll put a one across the middle. Now we're going to right, right click on this one and set it as a mirror line. And I'm going to make just a pair of circular lenses to in the circle tool. Now if I hover on the centre point here and, and hold the shift key, you'll see we'll get some measurements that we can use. I've released the shift key now. So I'm going to go out here. Uh, my interpupillary distance is around Let's see, I'm just going to measure my spectacles here. On my spectacles it's about 72. So, shift key, move out here on this line, minus 36. And now we can make our circle. I'm going to just measure my specs again, roughly they are about 50 millimetres diameter. So that diameter is in 22, so I want 50 diameter. I'll scroll away a bit. And now I'm going to put a, a notional bridge in, so I'm going to choose this sweep arc. Sweep arc, so the arc has got to be somewhere on the centre line. We'll try there, click, go to here, we'll go in a bit, and put a bridge about there. And there's a bridge. Now to make it into material we've got to put some offset curves in. Well, then we'll make that. I think we'll make that 1.5. Return. See, that's touching that circle there. I want to do my other line, so I'm going to use the sweep arc tool again here. So I'm just going to guess it. Start out here somewhere and go around to there. Which means that if I press the trim key, T for trim. I can trim out these bits in there. It's exactly on the line. Now, my pair of specs has got a reinforcement, reinforcement piece across the top, so I can do that. What I would rather will have the tangent line for that. So from there to there. Whoops, just to there. I'll just choose an ordinary <coughs> line. So on there we have 
the bridge we need to trim a bit out here T for trim now for the hinge we're going to need some sort of support for the hinge so we'll put that round about the middle of our specs our oh, centre line stops short a bit but we can cope with that so straight line here and we'll take it up mm -hmm. two from the center line there two three and now we want some lines in down here I'll explain those later so we should have exactly the same on the other side yep there we are now now that we've got that we press P for pull tool and we can let's select that one first so I'm going to pull this out 10 millimeters just type 10 now we'll select that one that one and we'll pull those 1.5 got all these surfaces in so we'll select the select tool and press the delete key and that's removed this those surfaces now to make our hinge we need a slot in here for the hinge so we'll select that and rectangle which puts sketch grid on it will make it face us nicely and then we'll put our slot in here gonna go about halfway along it oh wait escape control z it's i forgot it was a rectangle so we need to go across there like that pull now we, we'll, of course, we want a slot in that one as well as this one. So if we pull this, ah, now then, what has happened? I'll tell you what has happened. Control Z. If we select that, we see over here we've got a mirror plane. Now that tends to confuse things a bit sometimes when you're pulling objects. So we can select it and delete it with the delete key. Now if we try to pull this, it works. So we go right across. And we have a slot identically in the opposite one. And you might be wondering what's this for? Why have I left that? Well, in spectacle hinges you sometimes need a backstop. So I'm gonna pull this eight millimeters and uh for the leg the hinge pin goes in here and that's a backstop to stop the the legs swiveling right out the other way, the wrong way. You want them to fall, in, fall inwards to the spectacles but not right out the other way. So that's a backstop. So has it happened on the other side? No it has not, see? Because we've got rid of the, the mirror plane so we'll just do the same here. Type A to return. So 
select it, select it first. I don't think it matters if it's the pull tool or the select tool. If you now type C for circle, yes, put it in the right place. And then V for vertical, drag it along a bit. Whoops, V. We can now put a, a circle in here somewhere. Now, of course, we want a circle exactly opposite in the other leg. But we haven't got a mirror line now, so we'll put one in. We need to be in the middle here somewhere to put the mirror line in. So it's there. Doesn't have to go th through our our position. We'll just make that a mirror line. Right click. So, uh, so now if we put a circle in here, we'll turn this snap grid off so we can uh, roughly there, put a circle, we'll make it one millimetre diameter. We notice that we've got one on the other side also. Good. Pull. Well, would you believe it? It's actually pulled a hole in both sides. I noticed, however, that for some reason that back stop had gone. So I'll put that back eight. Now, of course, you can put a little radii in here. We'll put a 0.5 radii there, and we'll put a 1.5 here, just to make things look pretty. So there's a basic pair of spectacle frames. I haven't done the legs yet, of course, but hopefully that uh, will get you started on making these things and shows you a little peculiarity of using the mirror line. Trying to, it, it will disable a few things that are usually normally able to be done and then you've got to delete it and add another. Well you see there, putting those radii on there, even though we've got a mirror line it hasn't put them on here. Well would you believe it has put the internal one on, but it has not put that one on the... on the. if you get that symbol here with a plus and minus in it, press the escape key, get rid of it. But it hasn't put this one on. It's a bit odd. One. Point five. Well. well, I hope you found that useful and interesting. Please subscribe and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.